An elevator reverse T3 is common in people with hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's, yet most endocrinologists don't order this marker for their patients with these conditions. I'm Dr. Eric Osansky, and in this video, I'll discuss the importance of reverse T3, and I will show you actual patient reports so that you'll better understand why you should consider testing for it. Before I begin, I just want to remind you that the main reason I put together these videos is to help people with different types of autoimmune conditions and other health issues better understand the test results so that they can find or remove their triggers, correct any underlying imbalances, and feel great again. So let's discuss a few basics about reverse T3. Reverse T3 is manufactured from thyroxin, also known as T4, and its role is to block the action of T3. Because it blocks the conversion of T4 to T3, a high reverse T3 is common in people with hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's, although I commonly see my patients with hyperthyroidism and Graves' disease have elevated reverse T3 levels as well. Let's talk about the reference range of reverse T3. According to LabCorp, their reference range is 9.2 to 24.1 nanograms per deciliter. Quest Diagnostics, their range for reverse T3 is 8 to 25 nanograms per deciliter. And the optimal reference range would be 10 to 18 nanograms per deciliter. Let's take a look at some reports. So this lab uses a range of 9 to 27 nanograms per deciliter. And we can see the reverse T3 is well within range, 12.5. This lab uses a range of 9.2 to 24.1 nanograms per deciliter. And this person has an elevated reverse T3 at 26.4. And this lab uses a range of 10 to 24 nanograms per deciliter. And this person is within the lab range, but a little higher than we want to see. So a little higher than optimal at 21. For more information on thyroid health, you'll want to check out the following video that just appeared on your screen where I discuss some thyroid blood test basics. And to receive more videos on how to better understand your test results, please subscribe and click the notification bell below this video.